Hey, third graders. So we are done with our math book and we are going to do some other fun things in math this week. Today's lesson is all about symmetry, which is um, something you probably know a little bit about and um, something that you need to know a little bit more about. So um, I had a book here from the library called Seeing Symmetry by Lauren Leedy. And so I'm going to share some of that with you. And um, here we go. Butterfly wings have it. Triceratops had it. The word mom has it. When you know what to look for, it's easy to start. Seeing Symmetry, written and illustrated by Laureen Leedy. You might see symmetry in the yard, on a plate, flying by, in the sky, hiding out, in plain sight. So what is it? If you can fold a shape exactly in half, it has symmetry. If each half is a mirror image of the other half, the whole shape is symmetrical. Each half is flipped over like a reflection. The line in the middle is the line of symmetry. Shapes such as these have line symmetry. Are there other names for the kind of symmetry? Yes, we're going to find out about that later. Check your face in the mirror. You'll see a line of symmetry right down the middle of your nose. Hands? One hand by itself does not have symmetry, but your two hands are mere images of each other. Here are a few symmetrical words. Aha, kid, mom, chick, toot, cod, box, cookie. Wow. How many of these words have a horizontal line of symmetry? How many have a vertical? You need to pause the video, check it out. A different kind of symmetry spins around. Certain shapes rotate around a center point, much like an airplane propeller spins. What happens when a shape with a center point goes around? Let's spin the Z. When it turns halfway around, it looks the same as when it's right side up again. See how the flower petals match as the flower turns around? How many matches does this pinwheel have? The name for symmetry that spins around is rotational symmetry. I also heard radial symmetry. So there's different kinds of symmetry. We've got bilateral symmetry, radial symmetry, or the rotational and um, spherical symmetry. Rotational symmetry is found in nature and in things people make. Have you ever cut a paper shape with rotational symmetry? Symmetry? You can find spectacular symmetry when you look at a snowflake or inside a kaleidoscope. So third graders, why is symmetry an important math concept? Mathematics is about more than numbers. It's also about the study of patterns, order, and comparisons. Math often involves finding patterns that repeat. Every type of symmetry must have a part that is repeated at least once. Repeats are related to the math concept of equality. When something has symmetry, one part is equal to at least one other part. It may be a mere image, as in line symmetry. Figuring out if something is equal often requires measuring. Transformations are ways of moving shapes to make a repeated pattern. Transformations include flips, turns, and slides. A flip creates a mirror image, as in line symmetry, while a turn is a way rotational symmetry is formed. Slides or glides are one or more moves along a straight line. They are not covered in this book but are often found in symmetrical patterns on wallpaper, gift wrap, fabric. The flowers below are arranged in sliding pattern. 
symmetry shows many math concepts in vivid visual form. So now you'll spot the symmetry in the round, on your feet, up and down, in a tree, in the air, almost anywhere. And that's what we're going to do today. So I took a walk in my neighborhood and I saw all kinds of lines of symmetry. Maybe you can find them too in these pictures on these houses, on this fence, even some in nature. Lines of symmetry or rotational symmetry. It's everywhere. It's inside and outside. So I want you to go on a symmetry walk today. And I want you to walk around your house, inside or outside, looking for symmetry. Record your findings in your math journal. Remember to date your math journal. You can write, you can list, you can draw, you can sketch what you find. If you're able to take pictures to share, you can post those on Seesaw. Just for fun, create a symmetrical design using things from nature or objects in your house. Record your design in your journal. So I found a couple of examples of things that you can create. You can create things with nature, finding uh, sticks, finding shells, maybe you even have a collection of shells, and you can create a design. But you can also do that with some of your toys, third graders. Legos are a great option for doing this. All right. That's all we're going to do today on symmetry. I hope you have fun with this, and I hope you have a great day, third graders. It's almost the last week of school.